Well, I stand today, I've got to be honest, a little perplexed. I'm perplexed because I've looked at the political uh, scene over the last week or so, and I, I find myself wondering what's going on. I'm sure Campbell Newman wonders what's going on as well, and possibly Tony Abbott. But I'm not concerned because of any p particular political persuasion. I'm concerned about what are the uh, messages we are now receiving from the electorates. The conclusion I'm starting to um, come to is that if there's any strong, bold and challenging reform agenda by any government, just about any place, then it's got a high risk of failing with our electorate. And I find myself this morning, as we await to hear from uh, our two most prominent political leaders in this state, I find myself asking myself, why? Why is it that we seem to be in our electoral winter of discontent? And I, and I ask myself three questions. Is it because of the way the message is being delivered? Is it because it's being delivered arrogantly or in a, a perception of arrogance, a perception of being patronising? You know, the Campbell Newman was well known as a difficult and abrasive, demanding loyalty from his party. Uh, we've seen the uh, captain's picks, which uh, have gone down like the proverbial, damaging, uh, very self-damaging. We've seen the notorious photo of um, Joe and Matthias with the big stogies which didn't really kind of resonate with the electorate. Um, we've, we've had comments like, people, poor people don't drive cars. Um, but I can't help but feel uh, as kind of, uh, sort of entertaining as those things may be, and some people get really annoyed by it, I can't believe just insensitivity is enough to derail a reform agenda. So the second thing I asked myself was, well, are some of these key reform messages so complex that we've dumbed them down into soundbite, Twitter feed, tiny little bites where nobody understands it anymore.